Good morning, welcome to Shenanda Gamers Production. I am Nighted Gamer, and today I have with me Oni Ninja. And and dogs, apparently. And, and dogs, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is my best friend, and we're here uh, just going to hang out. We're going to create a podcast together, uh, and it's going to be a good time. So, And th- those are his wonderful dogs. Obviously, they're sweethearts. They bark right when you start recording. I know. The, the so many tests we just had. And then, and then we're like, this is the one. This is it. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. That sounds uh, about right, though. <laughs> yeah. Story of our lives. So, <laughs> yeah, I started Final Fantasy VII. And yeah. let me tell you, it's What's up? so awesome. Did you play the original? Uh, I did. Uh, about three different times. <clears throat> it's um, it's so fucking good. Like, seriously, so good. You, you will so, be... so, like, what are some of the changes? Like... Well, first of all, the very beginning, like the first sequence, is almost identical to the original sequence outside of the way that the battle works. It's not, uh, it's kind of like, um, you can kind of slow it down or pause the gameplay, but you don't have to, um, but, but like, you don't, ha- you don't go turn by turn by turn by turn. So, so that's a little bit different, but the, I mean, More just fluid. like, yeah, but just the way that Cloud looks, the way that Barrett looks, like just the whole thing. It's such a gorgeous game now. They really did a good job remaking it. Yeah, I've 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 come to terms with like well, yeah, but like new games in general, uh, especially with remakes. Um I get this sense of like they're trying to push out games too fast and in the first six months or so it's it's garbage and they do all these patches and they fix it so i I have that reserve in me where i don't want to buy anything right out the gate i wait a couple weeks to see hey they did awesome or hey this is not worth it you know i mean i i totally agree i I think this one's different because first they're not doing the full game all in one sweep so okay so this is just the very first like section i I forget what it's called like the midgard section or something like that but it's like uh, i'd say one third to a half of the original game and then they're gonna put out another episode later so they did take their time with this one i think i mean that's kind of cool i think i think it's it's honestly it's it's so good when you just boot it up i only got time to record or to download like i don't know probably about an hour worth of gameplay because that's my internet is super slow so i only got like an hour (laughs) downloaded and then but i I played it for that hour and i was like this is gonna be amazing (laughs) yeah uh no i've 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 been stuck with trying to to keep money for i don't know random things uh I can't. I can't even list any of them right now because I have to write <laughs> everything on a list. If I think of it, oh, this is this goes on the list. Like now, I have to add uh, what is what is this thing called? Uh, a camera. I have to add. A, I have Wet, to add a webcam. webcam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, like that you goes need to one top of those. list now. <laughs> yeah. So but, let me see if I can pull it up. Yeah. So uh, upgrades for computer so it doesn't run so slow. Uh, 3D printer supplies. Uh, webcam is. I'm going to add that right now before I forget. That's why I have the stupid note taker. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the, I mean, I think that's just being an adult these days, right? You can't keep track of everything you need. Yep, yep. But that was an amazing game. Uh, I'm super stoked. September Cyberpunk 2077. Have you seen that yet? Uh, what? September. I have not seen any gameplay on it. I've I've only seen you know. Um, <clears throat> A lot of news, just over and over again for like, what was it, like last year and a half? Yeah. I imagine I, that you're going to see a lot more gameplay coming up soon because the way that they, they so they were supposed to do it at E3, but uh, either got canceled because of all this wonderful coronavirus stuff. Um, oh, yep. yep. So they, I, I think they're probably going to do something on their own coming up here soon. I wonder what that would look like, you know? Um, I don't know. It's probably just going to be gameplay with the devs talking over the gameplay. That would be my guess if I had to throw something out there. But it's going to be pretty awesome. That is a possibility. <clears throat> I did see one thing. like the They have Keanu Reeves in it. Yes, they do. That's very exciting. 
is is there a reason behind that or is it just because it's Keanu Reeves? I think it's just because it's Keanu Reeves. Like I mean immortalize an already immortal person. When you can get Keanu Reeves, you just get Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> like isn't that how that works? <laughs> I guess. What is what is it about Keanu Reeves that just everyone gravitates towards? I think it's cuz he's just got that quiet charisma. People like that. Like he's yeah. not he's not overly charismatic. He's not overly flamboyant, but he is definitely somebody that you you feel like you can have a conversation with, and he's just chill. Okay, so he's like just like a genuine person. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a lot of it. I think a lot of it has to be his how cool he is and under pressure. And like if you watch any of his uh, interviews, he's just he's just calm as a cucumber. All right, we're we're gonna pause for a second. Uh, Calm as a cucumber. I don't understand that phrase. <laughs> Actually, it's supposed to be cool as a cucumber, but I messed it okay. up. Okay, so still just as confusing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I imagine Does that, that mean cu- like cucumbers are supposed to be in the fridge, so they're pretty cool. So okay, you're well, as cool as a fridge, I guess. You could you could say the same thing about milk. Cool as milk. I mean, you cool could. as cheese. <laughs> but... cool, cool as a bunch of things that are in the fridge. They... Why why they why did they go to cucumber? Because it rolls you know? a ton. Cool as a cucumber. That's way better than. <laughs> Milk, yeah, yeah, you're right. right. Cool as, dude, I'm cool as fucking milk. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not, not at uh, all. right, all right. <laughs> that would be that would be the worst. I'm cool as cheese. No, cheese, yeah. is, cheese is not that cool. I'm sorry to tell you this. I mean, have you ever eaten it out of the fridge, just straight up, just taking a big old cheese? bite out of a block of cheese? No, but I often take it out. And then cut off a piece of cheese and then eat it. But yeah, nah, have. that's that takes too long. It's too civilized for me. It's too... <laughs> remind me to never eat cheese when I go over to your house. <laughs> <laughs> like you want cheese with your taco? I brought my own. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll just put it. I just, I like, just unrolled cheese in my pocket. Throw it on the <laughs> taco. Hey, you want a snack? Oh yeah, here, crunch, crunch, yeah. pass. <laughs> bite, bite, pass. <laughs> Yeah, I guess crunch crunch for cheese is a bad sign. <laughs> it's probably been in there too long. Like, why is my cheese crunchy? <laughs> oh, so God, that's an awful visual. It it is. Thanks. So I appreciate that. We could have just stayed on cool as a cucumber, but no. Yeah, no, I don't do that. Products. Little insight to the brain of mine. <laughs> So what have you been up to since you've been uh, stuck at home? Um, really, honestly, just spending time with my wife. Uh, she's been really into uh, a, a game called Taiko no Tatsujin. Uh, it is a rhythm game based on uh, the the Jap- traditional Japanese taiko drum. Mm-hmm. And if you love rhythm games, I highly suggest it to anybody. Uh, because it's it's very simple. It's essentially two things: don and ka, and that is re- you know uh, don is the the center of the drum and ka is the the edges of the drum, and that's it. That's really all you got to do. And there's there's a lot of phenomenal songs. They have different uh, uh, categories, so they've got pop songs. They've got uh, a variety of weirdness, like the pen pineapple apple. Pen guy, pen? like that song is on there. Um, the song is. I have a pen. I have an apple. Oh, apple pen! You never oh, heard that? That oh, was a, yes. that was a viral no, no. thing. I remember that. I, but why? <laughs> why would? That's you... what I'm saying. Like it has so many different uh, categories. They have game music. They have uh, anime music. It's just, it's a a good combination of. All sorts of Japanese music. Um, How are you playing it? Uh, I play it with a controller. Uh, um, that's another thing I need to add on my, my notes of things to buy. I, there <laughs> is a $380 freaking drum thing, but what? it's. Yeah, but it emulates the actual arcade version. So you get to have this big ass drum right in front of you and you beat on it like you're playing a drum in the arcade. I don't know about this. <laughs> That's like uh, almost an entire Xbox. <laughs> you play drums. <laughs> if you're into this type of game, that is 
well worth the money. Um, uh, I guess. Because otherwise, <laughs> you you play you can play it on the, the controller. Uh, we have it on the PS4. And my wife, when she first started playing it, she's like, oh, this is kind of fun. And then I wake up, you know, like this morning, and I come out, and she's already playing it by herself. Oh, good. No prodding necessary. Like, hey, babe, let's play a game. Yeah, she never likes to play video games. So. I, I know. So the fact that a non-gamer who does not like games is willing to do this on her own free of will, it, it shows, like, how much of a, a quality game this is if you enjoy that type of music and yeah. rhythm games in general. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of rhythm games, but I mean... That's I think it's... I think it's in the simplicity of it that, that attracts a lot of people to it. But I think that's what I love about video games, is that there's literally a vid- I always say there's a video game out there for absolutely anyone. Like, you oh, just have for to sure. find it. That's really the main thing, is just find that video game. Because right now I got uh, my wife, she is on, uh, what is that new game? The Animal Crossing. I got her hooked on that. Oh, She's, oh, she's see? loving it. Great example. There's also a game... That is not for everybody, and I am not a fan of any Animal Crossing ever. <laughs> I I don't I don't know that I'm going to enjoy it honestly. Like my personal opinion is that I don't know that the the gameplay loop is active enough for me. You know, I can only fish yeah. so many times. <clears throat> but like, she loves it because she just sits there and does her thing, fishes around, and goes and dig some holes i don't know i'm like you still play stardew <laughs> valley that's my opinion but she absolutely adores it so it's just proof that there's a video game out there for every person yes um one that's that i one that's a golden go-to for me is it's it's like a controversial like oh it's not a game that's not a, a gamer game it's, it's minecraft and it's infinite legos and for me legos since childhood has been a great release for for a creative side and mm-hmm. the fact that there was a game that just is still today constantly changing and adding things to it yeah um it's phenomenal i mean um, i think a lot of people love i mean i think a lot of people love uh minecraft honestly how many youtubers and how many like, streamers have gotten popular solely off of minecraft like it's it's never gonna stop i think it's gonna go on for a very long time. Not only that, it goes. In, people are using it in schools. People use it for all kinds of different reasons. It's a really good game. I mean, we've played it many hours together, so yeah, I totally get it. I mean, we built a Ayasara in one time in a huge tower. <laughs> we built uh, the 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 original like uh, NES Super uh, just Super Mario Brothers uh, castle, yeah. Bowser's put, castle. Yep, and then you put TNT under my front door. And... Oh yeah, good time, <laughs> great time. <laughs> Yeah, I was, yeah. I was so mad. <laughs> oh, great pranks. Oh, yeah, it's such uh, a great game. It is a great game. <laughs> I have to oh. figure out, I don't actually know what my Minecraft name is. I'm assuming it's Knighted Gamer because that's my Minecraft name, or that's my name on pretty much everything. But um, I think you just check your uh, account information and it'll give it to you. I only I really really play on Xbox, so I don't know. I have to look. Oh, okay. See, but, I've been playing on the PC because that's like the the most updated version at all times. But the, the Xbox can play with the Windows 10 version, so <laughs> as long as you're playing on the Windows 10 version, I think that I can we're we're good to go. I just have to figure out. I just have to get on there and figure it out. See, I think I've just made a gamer though, so we'll sort it out later. But I definitely yeah, we'll I think you out. have that server going, so I have to figure. I it do. Out. Yeah. I've I've decided on what type of uh, <clears throat> what's the word uh, designs uh, I want my my first original base to be, which is uh, a Japanese theme. Theme, that's the word. <laughs> got, got it. I found you. It came out of my mouth, and then I found it. Yeah, great. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, no, like I I started off with like a, a giant Tory gate which is uh, a Japanese gate that just, it's an entrance to uh, someone's home or uh, uh, castle. Mm-hmm. So that's what I, that's the first full build I did, and I'm, I'm working on a whole bunch of other stuff at the same time. Are you, like, plotting out the area so people have, like, a starting area, or are you nope. just letting anyone just willy-nilly do whatever you want? Uh, see, the, the thing for the server is uh, 
I'm I'm trying to bring in people that I know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't want to do like a whole bunch of random people, so I just bring in people I know, which no one has joined yet. So it's just me alone, <laughs> all by myself. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know a lot of people. I don't know if you got that from that sentence, but anyway, <laughs> I, don't I guess. Know about that. Um, uh, I I just I ran off in a direction and I found a place and I'm like this this is it I I love this section uh, I'm gonna do everything by myself until I have one friend who wants to play. Well, I am sure I will get on. I just don't know yeah. when. Uh, and then when I get on, I will find your spot and then start building on your area just to make you a good luck finding it it's like <laughs> negative 600 negative 1500 of uh, uh, well there we go now i have a recording of exactly semi no, where it might no, be. no 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 <laughs> see i didn't give you real numbers oh. i just gave you really big numbers to show you where i might be oh, okay eventually you'll be on and i'll just find your little dot and follow it all the way to where you're at I don't know if that if it works like that anymore. And then I'll just change like two or three tiles on your thing that are different colors, please but don't, slightly please don't. different. Now. <laughs> please don't. Please, please, please don't. <clears throat> the the OCD in me that, that yeah. you kill me when you do that. Yeah, I know that's why it's so funny. It's just like one brown piece of wood on your floor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it'd be funnier if you did that, but like you put it on the roof and then. When they went to, and then you put lava above it, so that as soon as you go and try to get rid of it, lava starts falling. Oh yeah, that's that's a classic. That is a classic. Because <laughs> then you, uh, you would have to fix it, but not know. <laughs> I like there. I like how things have progressed through the years because now you can really mess with people. They have uh, what they call flying machines. It's a it's a, it's a bunch of piston or a few pistons, a few slime blocks, and a few uh, redstone blocks. And once it starts, it does not stop until it reaches uh, the sky limit, the floor limit, or uh, uh, an immovable block. So if someone's just standing there AFK, you can build it under them, <laughs> break that block out, start it, and now they're just going wherever you send them. <laughs> you know? So it's, 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 it's a fantastic thing because they have no idea what's happened once I, they I'm come sorry. back. Every time you do that, you have to be like, I will show you the world. <laughs> 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 Shining, shimmering, <laughs> horror. You know, it'd be really cool if you can find a way to, uh, like, like time a detonation so when they're in the air, it breaks the block and then they just fall. Oh, see, I don't want to kill them because what if they have a whole bunch of like good things on them? You just, stand you know, you got to be standing right there to <laughs> yeah. to collect all that stuff. You're just like like a guy trying to catch a ball. You're just like. Okay, I, I got it, I got right, it, and yeah. like 10 feet behind you. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I got all of his stuff now. Death perception is not what I thought it was. I seen I seen a really funny thing that was uh, the other day. Some guy made paintings of, like on Minecraft, he made paintings of um, um, little diamonds, but like when they're in the brick. And then he ran around and placed them all over his world. So you think that there's a diamond there, but then you go to break it, and it's just like a piece of wood that looks like oh, a diamond. Oh, that's messed up. Yeah, I just like, that's so funny. That's, ah. Oh, yeah. That's so mean. <laughs> I just think that would be so funny, especially if there's, like, caverns, and, like, oh, my God, there's so many diamonds down here. And then you go in there, and it's like, click, click, click. Like, this you... is not real. There's no possible way there are this many diamonds. <laughs> But if you didn't know anything, like if you never seen it before, then you may not know that that's a thing. So that's true. That's like uh, a new player kind of trick. <clears throat> yeah, it's that. It, but it would be very, very funny for sure. So another good one is just surrounding them, hoping they don't have like a diamond pick or something. Just surrounding them with absolutely nothing but obsidian blocks. Oh, just like three, three or four rows. That's it. That's all. That's all you need. That's, I mean, yeah. Then they're just stuck there. They just, <laughs> you, you just, they come back and they're like, all right, guys, I'm back. And then you see this person logged out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> United Gamer has left the server. <laughs> I can't remember what it is. It's like, it's an absurd amount of time, like five minutes or 14 minutes just to break one block with no pick. <laughs> Once again, and Night of Gamers <laughs> love the server. <laughs> I would oh, promise vengeance on you. I promise that that would happen. I would promise vengeance on you. 
Yeah. That's why I don't mess with people too much anymore. No, no. <laughs> I think that's where I got it from. I, I used to be like, oh, this is a little prank. Now I, I'm one of two ways. Either the prank is so insubstantial <laughs> that nothing besides me laughing comes out of it, or it's far too much. I just push the limits way too far. And that's it. Those are my only two options for pranks. See, my my pranks are almost unnoticeable majority of the time. It's yes. something that I am going to find so damn hilarious, but it's going to take so much time for it to happen. And when it does, all that laughter, all the buildup for me <laughs> just explodes and vomits from my face. And vomits. they're like, oh, okay, that was easy to fix. Or, oh, cool, all right, let's move on. Uh, that... I can't have any examples either because my brain's just gunk my memory is awful i do recall one time when we were playing that um you built like a glass house or something and i ran around and just picked off like six pieces of glass <laughs> off of your glass <laughs> house and you yeah were so angry because <laughs> you're like i'm never gonna find them i know it was it was an entire glass yeah like like building. a greenhouse or something i, I don't yeah. remember exactly why you um, had it I... but Back then, like, you couldn't really tell the difference between no. different blocks. Like, you had to fall through the block. Or, <laughs> yeah. Like, you weren't going to find it. Yeah, and you were so mad because <laughs> you, you just kept falling through blocks when you were up there working on it. It was hilarious. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the word. <laughs> that's so I am feeling anger towards Aaron's actions in the past. <laughs> Yeah, that was... Oh, what good times. <laughs> so, we'll definitely have to get back on that Minecraft train sometime. But, the other thing... Uh, so, as I stated at the beginning of this podcast, we are doing this as a Shenanigamers production. So, Oni Ninja here is part of the Shenanigamers, Nighty Gamers, part of Shenanigamers. And we have a couple other people, and we're starting this out. Uh, we are going to be working on basically kind of like characters... The the way that that um, it was presented was that it's like characters as in like who are you are online and like how do you want to depict yourself online <clears throat> outside of just a voice or just, you know, like the conversation that we have. And so eventually it's going to be uh, we're going to do my introduction first on uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter, Facebook and all that stuff. And then we're going to do you also. So you, we do have to come up with something of how you want to be portrayed, like, and what kind of games you want to do, and what, you know, kind of what, what you want to do as part of this larger company that we're building, so. Gotcha, okay. So just bringing that up, letting you know, just kind of think about it. It's something that we are going to, we're going to be working on more products to come in the future. Uh, we're going to work on eventually streaming setups and all that stuff. For now, I think we're going to stick to a podcast. It's easy to do. We're just going to set up and start recording and just hang out for a day, so. Yeah, see what comes out of our faces. Yeah, who knows? With the two of us, anything's possible at this point. Now, I got to say, that, that's majority in your part because you, you say some off-the-wall crazy things. That or it's just, and not because it's just, you know, off-the-wall, but, like, your ideas. For me, it's 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 a lot I mean, it's just you see this huge picture, and I I don't see that, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna follow you anyway. Well, as you can see, even from like this this backdrop that I have, like when I told Victoria, like, hey, this is what I want to do. I want to make this kind of steampunk like brick wall, and I want to kind of have this bronze tone to it. She was like, uh, okay, that's a lot, but we'll figure something out, and then we ended up figuring it out. So it's not. A lot of it comes down to that I just I have this idea and then I'm gonna make it happen and we just Which, have to figure out how to do that. The wall turned out phenomenal. It looks really good. I thought it was like you would like stuccoed it or, or something, but then you said you painted it and I, it took me a second when you said the bottom layer is this color and then the top layer is this color and I'm like, oh, that totally makes sense. Yeah, and if you look closely, you can see how I did it, but it's very difficult to see, especially if you're like in, right in front of it. 
Uh, you yeah. can see it kind of more right here, like up in the top right. You can see that I kind of sponged it on there a little bit. But you right. can see the little squares if you're really looking hard. But, I mean, yeah. it's very difficult to see. I worked very hard on it. And I've been working on it for about a week, a week and a half. So, the uh, I would say about... Probably about two-thirds of the basement is going to look like this. And well, it so, looks really well done. I, I, I like the way it looks. My favorite part about it is that, as you can see, like, from back here, it, it all looks different because, like, there's parts that are kind of messed up with the brick, which actually makes it look better. And then if you, like, kind of look over here, that brick is a little bit different than this brick right here. So I think that it looks good because... It, it gives a diversity to the brick and it, it allows the brick to be the character that it's supposed to be versus just painting a wall one color. Right. And so I think that we got to use the characteristics of the actual brick and bring it to life and I think it makes it look so much better. The next thing is this wall right here. Uh, let me find it. This wall right here. We're going to figure out how we're going to do something with that. We're going to try the same process but... Um, we're going to use, like, newspaper or something. I don't know. We're going to figure it out, but it's going to take some time. That's our my next project, so. Okay. But, yeah, it's 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 been really fun. But that's just my point is, is that, I mean, sometimes it's crazy, sometimes it's wild, but we can make it happen. I think this is going to be one of those times where I'm like, hey, let's do a podcast. And you were like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, sweet but i just honestly think that we're very comedic sometimes so yeah sometimes that's that's the main part of that whole sentence <laughs> it's sometimes that's all that matters maybe people show up for the, like seven minutes of a video <laughs> <laughs> but it's all that matters yep that that is all that matters to me i mean i'm just doing it because i need a way to kind of express my art you know i don't really I'm not really artistic in, like, the I draw or I do, I don't know, other art things. I don't really write or anything like that, but I talk a lot, so yeah. let's use that. <laughs> yeah, no, I used to draw, and I have not drawn in in a few years, actually. I can't remember the last thing I drew. Well, you've also been on that new train of uh, 3D modeling and building your, your little characters, too, on your 3D oh. printer, so... I, I can't stop, man. It's just... <laughs> I mean, you, I, I'm so close to awesome. making like a, a little miniature of a banana holding a banana sword, holding a banana shield, just because I can. I, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I would put it, I'd put it right here. Right, right there. That's where it's going. <laughs> you send that over to me. It's going in the podcast. That's the end. Now you have a, now you have a reason to make that. Oh man, no! I, w I was I was bummed a few months back. Um, I wanted to take an actual CAD course, uh, computer assisted drafting, I think it's called. Yeah. Um, where you just make actual three D models to be, you know, printed or or, or whatever you want to do with it. It's mm -hmm. it's an actual thing that's in three D now. Um, but I live in such a tiny town. Uh, there was they only allowed 13 people to sign up for it and it was full. I missed the sign up uh, for by like a week That's when nice. I decided, hey, I should I should look into getting some classes. And uh, then the this lovely lovely thing that's going around the entire world, you know, uh, yeah. has been going on. So I can't do it anyway. The great <clears throat> the great COVID nineteen, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I I was I. Uh live on the internet so basically everything that's on the internet i quote at some point in time because that's just the person i am but i seen something that was like people who call it corona and it was just like uh, just a normal human and but it's like people that call it rona and this is like gangstered out like chains and like just like the hat with a flat top and a flat bill and everything and i was just like oh. <laughs> i never even thought to call it rona not one time in my life <laughs> there you go so uh yeah if you guys want to be cool uh that's probably not the way to do it but you can try i mean i've i've heard uh people referring to it as uh <clears throat> the backstreet boys are on on tour right now so you don't want tickets to this tour it's a bad tour uh that sort of thing <laughs> yeah i don't understand yeah no it's you know 
Be- well, it's because on YouTube, like, they demonetize all videos that have oh. any any mention of, of COVID-19. So oh, gotcha. they they, ref- they have to refer to it as something else if they want to talk to it, talk oh, about it. Oh, you know? I got you. So for now on, we need a new name for it. It's got to be like, I don't know. We got to come up. Well, I mean, if we if we go to YouTube, yeah, we got to change it. But for now, it's just fucking this this damn disease. Yeah, I, I think we call it my Rona. You know, like my, 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 my Rona. Yeah, that's exactly. Thank you. I'm glad. <laughs> You're welcome. My Rona. My Rona. Yeah. Wait. Hey, Casey, did you get the my Rona today? No, 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 no. I got I got your Rona. I got your Rona. <laughs> Because you coughed in my fucking mouth. Uh, I was I see these people who like you cough once out in public and then like burn the switch, please burn them now. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, um, look, it's allergies and asthma, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, please kill them, dead. <laughs> burn them at the stake. I know it, they some wild looks out there in the in the wild of humans. Speaking of wild, you on the Tiger King train? Man, I finished that the first week oh it came out. Oh my god, so good. So bad. So Listen bad. up, motherfucker! <laughs> that it... bitch barrel, Carol Baskin! <laughs> my favorite one is the TikTok video. It's like, it's like Carol Baskin had a <laughs> husband whacked him. <laughs> 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 oh, it's it, like I'll have to send it to you after this. It is absolutely he- hilarious, but oh it's just this guy that looks like the Tiger King, and he's just like Carol Baskin had a husband whacked him. I, I during that whole so you watched it, right? <laughs> yes, I watched the whole thing. I loved it. Okay, so that that the part where Carol Baskin makes the very oddly specific comment yes. like if you, if you want to kill somebody you don't <laughs> yeah clearly put it on their clothes you you put like sardine oil on them like clearly you what? don't put cologne on their feet right that was you a put cologne. sardine oil on their feet something like ooh, I, mean, I don't know like, sardine oil yeah are you that, fucking kidding me <laughs> not that i've ever done it before or anything but <laughs> if you had to i'm just guessing sardine oil is the answer not proven Yet, possibly. Wink. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay, if Carol Bastion is not guilty, I will never play a video game in my life after that. Like, never. But she is oh, guilty man. as shit. There's no way she's not guilty. There's no way she didn't murder her husband, wait exactly five years and one day to take all of his money so his kids didn't get it, and I know. then oh. finally call him legally dead. No possible way. Not happening. Yeah, and then and it's, I seen it's a, crazy. I, I seen a funny meme that was like, it was her new husband. It was like, it's so weird. Her has a second husband loves her like his life depends on it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I was dying. <laughs> and, then, and then there was and then their wedding photos. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, yo, definitely. Yo, she whacked him for sure. She she oh. murdered him, fed him to a. A um a tiger using sardine oil like straight up, <laughs> it happened. We, we like there's no way it didn't happen. There's no way. Yeah, no. I, uh, the whole the whole thing is just like a crazy meth head roller coaster. Absolutely, the entire and, series. It's the, just absurd. Thing. And it's like you, I have to sit there and go, these are not people acting. This is not The Office. This is not Steve Carell. This is like a real human out there who actually is doing these things who actually lived this life like it's just wild to me <laughs> yeah no i saw i saw me the other day and it oh god i laughed so hard uh someone had posted a comment of like finally got my new uh uh debit card and it was a picture of uh i can't even think of his name now it's just the tiger king um it was a picture of him and a quote under it that said, I am never going to financially recover from this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <it's... laughs> oh, man. The whole thing. It's just, it's a crazy ride Dude, it, of, if, of shit that happened. If, if you guys are out there and you have not watched it, 
it's horrible. You know, first thing. Oh, I forgot we were saying, talking to people. <laughs> we are out. We are, well, we're talking to each other, but we're also talking to people. <laughs> if you're out there, it's a terrible train wreck that you must watch because it's worth it. It's worth every second. I love it. I love the whole thing. It's she so had, bad. The Tiger King had an employee who lost an arm yeah. to a tiger, and within minutes, this crazy. Coke induced dude puts on an EMT jacket <laughs> like he's he's the know it all guy. Yo, I got yo, I got the EMT jacket. We good I, here. Don't worry. I about just it. don't know how else to explain <laughs> what kind of train ride this is. It's it's a train because ride. there's no tracks. It's no. just choo choo, motherfucker. <laughs> choo choo. Yeah, no, you go. It goes off the rails for sure. This it, it's it's taking a ride on the crazy train. That's. 100% the yeah. answer. All aboard. Ha, 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 Because you're like, okay, first of all, you have this redneck, right? And then you follow him and his tigers. And, like, there's times where I sit there and go, like, it's so unreal that homeboy's just hanging out with tigers all day. Like, this just, it yeah. just, like, blows my mind. But then we have, like, other two, like, two or three other main characters, four. And, and the problem is we're not talking about a series. We're not talking about... Something that people are recording and they're like, oh, there's going to be a season two. Let's see what happens to the Tiger King. Like, Homeboy's in jail forever, probably. And if he comes out, he's going to be like 94 years old. And this is real life. This is somebody's life. And I find that so amusing. It's so much better that way. Oh, my goodness. Give me one second. This is a guest appearance from the two doggos in the back. So, if you guys are out there, go hit that tiger They are king. not going to stop barking, but, you know. No, this isn't. Well, I mean, it's going to be a common It's going to be a common theme. They are going to be our guest appearances. Yep. From uh, good, our good Willow and... Um, the Loch Ness Monster, uh, also yeah. known as Nessie. Nessie, yes. Uh, they always, they, they love barking for no reason. Like air. Oh, man. The, 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 and, the wind blows funny. They're barking at you. Oh, Nessie's the Nessie's the main perpetrator of that too. Like she starts every single tiff that any of them have. That sounds about like I think we have Chloe's the same way that she'll start barking and then we'll stop every other dog and she's just like bark, bark. bark. Yeah, no, it's it's bork 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 nonstop. Yeah. Um, we tried getting her a bark collar and we don't put it on her anymore. But the second we go to reach for it, she's like, oh, I. I know what that is. I'm going to stop. I hated <laughs> I hated doing that because I had to do it for Burley when we lived in an apartment because he absolutely would not stop barking. Yeah. Uh, and I got in, like, in trouble, so I had like no choice. I didn't know what else to do, and I hated doing it. So I'm glad that we both now have places where we don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. But, right. yeah, I hated I hated putting a bark collar on him. He stopped barking, at least, though. Yeah. So it does work. I just don't like to zap him, so... Yeah, no, it breaks your heart. Yeah, it does. Especially when you're, like, sitting there and you're... you're... Oh, I know. Oh, goodness. The, the first few times that we, we had it on them and they would bark and they would squeal immediately after. Oh, it killed me. Oh. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're doing this to yourself. This hurts me more than it hurts you. <laughs> oh, I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> The, I mean, oh, we don't have kids, but the life of a parent. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. When you I, maybe not one dog is equal to one kid, but maybe like three dogs is equal to one kid. I think. I'll, I'll tell you right now, my dumbass dogs are smarter than a lot of some of these kids out there. <laughs> I mean, your wife is a teacher, so you would yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. There's there's a. Oof. I I can't I. You know, legally, I can't tell stories. <laughs> legally, but... you said, would you sign an NDA? <laughs> no, but like, I, you know, she could lose her job. You yeah, know, no, I'm just joking. It's just like these. Some of these kids, man, they are nuts. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think the hardest one that hit me was like when uh, when your wife was telling me about that time that she finally like lost one of her kids, and I was like, dude, that's the worst. Oh yeah. That was yeah. the worst. Like that hit me so hard. I was like, dude, this sucks so bad. Yeah, their their family is is mentally not uh 
right upstairs. They yeah. they're a lot of them uh, just not there. It's tough because it, like when when you're living with a teacher or my wife's a substitute you know when you're living with that they get attached to these kids and like they have to hear that that's just that's yeah. a lot that's deep that's some deep deep sorrow sometimes you have to be careful with that stuff yep. but they, it's, it's a sad thing for sure so what is she doing for is she doing like the whole online schooling right now so uh it's i think it's every day that she's been doing it but she has no it's every other day she has a uh like a, an online meeting where all the kids who want to join from her class can join and, you know, chat with her for a little bit. Yeah. Um, I know she sends home work with them, like through the, the Google classroom or whatever they're using. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> she has daily meetings with uh, her staff, you know, all their coworkers and principal and all that. So like she's, she's still working every single day. Um, gotcha. And she still has to, even though the meeting may last for an hour, she has to wait around all day around her phone, you know, emails and, and whatever calls may come through, uh, parents if they need information. Like, she's still on the clock, but she's just at home. Yeah. I mean, she's just working from home like a lot of people are these days. Right. I mean, it sucks. I mean, for everyone. There's so many. Yeah, she's, she's pretty bummed because, you know, I, I have a very, very high suspicion we are not going to have all the kids come back uh for like the last week or so or school like we're done yeah like, i wouldn't nope. count on it we're gonna come back next year that's it so she's she's pretty bummed that she's not gonna see her kids like that's it yeah <clears throat> mainly she gets to spend a little bit of time with them before she has to send them off to the next grade i think next year's yeah. gonna be an interesting kind of <laughs> kind of i guess social experiment would be the way to say it is of like how did this affect them during this time period and, right. and how is it going to affect the fact that are they going to be – is every kid going to be on the same level as if your teacher was in the classroom or not? So it's going to be kind of interesting to see the social experiment that yeah. is this Myrona. Yeah. <clears throat> but, well, what else do you have going on right now? Anything else good? I mean, honestly, I go back uh, – because I am a, a custodian at a, at a school – um, I go back the 16th and I, I don't know what we're, we're planning for. Cause that's, that's almost like summertime for us. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, um, here in the next five days, we need to have some sort of information, whether the kids are coming back or not and what we can start working on. Um, yeah, I don't remember what the governor said. I, I think that you pushed it out further, but I, I'd have to look it up again to see what they say. Well, see, that's the thing. We haven't had any emails coming to us uh, because we still have, you know, like like the, the teachers and the principals, like they're still working. So we would have had some sort of information uh, if we we're coming back, you know, later than the 16th. But we haven't heard that yet. So um, and until then, these next, what, five and a half days, I'm going to be doing the same thing I've been doing for the last week and a half. <laughs> it's um, just hanging out. Lose track of every single day. Yeah, and, and spend time with my wife. Uh, I, I was like, hey, uh, Oni, here's the deal. On Saturday, I want to do a podcast, 1 o'clock. And you were like, cool, what day is it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally asked that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, it's definitely a Thursday. And, <laughs> and you know what I did? I immediately set up an alarm for Saturday <laughs> yeah. at 12 o'clock <laughs> because I don't, I woke up this morning thinking, what's today? <laughs> yeah, no. I lost all track of time. That, that was, to me, that was one of the most amusing things. You were just like, <laughs> okay, totally down. I have nothing better to do. Also, what day is? <laughs> <laughs> you need to post that. Like, that is the, the post that little picture of, of, you know, to socials or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll just capture it and then send it off. Yeah. I'm, I still don't have your name as your name in my phone. Like, all these years, it still does not say your actual first name. <laughs> it still says CC on it. Okay. <laughs> C-E-E-C-E-E? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's okay. I've changed your name to A.A. Ron. That's been like ever since I've had any phone ever. 
that's fair. I mean, if anyone who is everyone who's watched the Key and Pill skit. Um, oh, yeah. It, like, that's the thing is, I go out there and people are like, hey, a Ron, and I'm like, yeah, cool. I've never heard that one. Not one time. Not, <laughs> not, not one time. Nope. You are well, that's so cool. absolutely original. I've never had a nickname for you, you know? <laughs> Ever. Not once. It's weird. A lot of people don't really have nicknames for me. I don't, I don't know why. It's just, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I say that especially if I don't remember your name. Um, like, I don't remember my neighbor's name. <laughs> I've talked to them for hours before. Still don't recall their name. I know the person next to me, Sarah. But on the other side, the people we actually talk to, nope. Don't recall their name at all. Couldn't tell you. I've, that... I've lived in this house for uh, a year now, I think. I have never once, not once, met any of my neighbors <laughs> oh i've met uh i think i've met three of our neighbors already but only i can only remember sarah's name and then there's the two wonderful people that live next door i just i don't know i can't remember their name i know one was a teacher at one point in time and then she retired but i could tell you the guy works for the mines and that he works for a, different, a company that works for the mines i could tell you that but their name nope their dog that's pete his name is Pete. He's a wonderful little dog. And by little, I mean gigantic. <laughs> He's a standard poodle. But their names? Nope. Couldn't tell you. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's sad when you when you realize that moment in time where it's just like, I feel way more for dogs than I do about <laughs> Pete. Dude, dude, like, we got that girl, who's Sarah's cat. Then we have Pete, who's the standard poodle next door. And then we have Molly, who's another dog across the street from us. But, like, their names? Nope. I don't remember. <laughs> I feel so bad. I was like, "Oh, I know that uh, I should remember your name." So, I was we're, we're coming up with a way so we can get their names out of them without actually getting their names out of them. Man, we need a need a do pull pull a, a Huckleberry Finn. Just uh, say, "Hey, how do you spell your name?" Oh, that's a, I mean, that's a good one. I was just going to ask my roommate, hey, uh, you should go ask him because you haven't been living here for the entire time we have. <laughs> 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 Who, if you're wondering, our roommate is actually our social media director. So uh, hopefully she will be able to help us out with that. <laughs> yeah, because if you ask me any question or anything, you're not going to get a good answer. <laughs> Yeah, uh, if anyone is wondering, Oni Ninja has is not that old, but still does not like technology unless it's a computer in which he has 3D design already on it, and then he will use the computer. But only the things he knows how to do. Yeah, otherwise it's strictly to my, my, my consoles or my phone. Eventually, um, I plan on getting a, like, a computer that I can actually stream and like do video games and stuff, but... Uh, we're not there yet. Basement floor comes first, and then the the production room's floor will come first, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, no, I've, 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 I've I don't know what it was. It was just like I was on that age group where I'm still s in the mindset of you know the previous generation, and then technology was starting to happen. So I still under I can I can understand it if it's explained to me, mm -hmm. but I just don't trust it. Well, I mean, I do, I deal with technology for a living, and I 100% don't trust technology. <laughs> like, Thanks, it's going to break on you. Me. Thank you so much. <laughs> it, I mean, technology is going to break on you. That's the bottom line. That's why there's Google Drive. That's why there's, um, you know, like Dropbox and all these places that you can put your data so that when your hard drive does eventually fail, which it will, um, you can just, your, your information is somewhere stored safely. I mean, people pay these companies big money so that they can collect your data so that you can store your stuff there so they can collect your data. But eh, nothing's for free, so you got to pay the price some way. So that's how they do it. They just take your data. But, I mean, if you, have a, if you have a Google phone or an iPhone, they already have your information anyway. So at that point, what does it matter? <laughs> I gotta get rid of my phone, man. <laughs> Yo, some Ron Swanson on this. Have you seen that episode? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where he's I like, food and stuff. It's where I buy all my food and most of my stuff. <laughs> well, Ron Swanson's like, uh, he calls his secretary in his office and he's like, hey, um, 
I went to this website and it's like, hello, wrong. And I'm really confused. And she's like, you think that's bad? You should look up what cookies are. And then like the next scene, you see him. Oh, no. And then she goes, no, she goes, sorry. She goes, you think that's bad? You should go to Google Maps and look at your house. And like the next scene, you see him throwing his computer into the garbage. Oh, it's such a it's good show. One of the best scenes ever. I love that scene. Parks and Rec for anybody who's who's wondering. Yeah, but. Parks and Rec. Ron Swanson, he is easily the best character on that show for sure. Also, where Chris Pratt, uh, Star Star Lord, uh, got his one of his first starts. Absolutely. Yeah, he got that because he was living in a van in Hawaii before he got that role. Yeah, and uh, I watched. I did watch an interview with him once where. He can sing almost every single Eminem song from a specific album because that's all he had. <laughs> Yo, that poor life. Oh, man. <laughs> the things you'll do when you are poor. And don't get me wrong, both me and Oni at some point in time have been poor. And uh, I w- we were there for each other's poor times at, at each at during our I'm lives, probably so. still alive because of this kid. I mean, <laughs> I used to live off of just peanut butter and top ramen, and that until, was two years of my life. Yeah, until I'd come over and be like, hey, "Do you want food?" And like, oh, "No, I'm be, good. I'm good." Yeah, being the nice gentleman, he is, was like, "Oh no, no, I'm fine. I'll be, I'll be all right." <laughs> and, and I'm like, "Homeboy, oh, let's go." And he's like, "All right." <laughs> Make it sound like I was like frail and and dying. I, if I showed you pictures, you were pretty frail. <laughs> <laughs> you were not frail like you were then. That's for sure. Oh, you were oh. tiny. I know. Sometimes I see the picture of you and your wife, like on your like first date or whatever. I don't remember what it was. It comes up often, and Jamie's like, "Oh, this is our first date or whatever." And uh, yeah, sometimes I see it, and I'm like, "Oh, um, he's so tiny." <laughs> yeah, I was. I was. Uh an image like it pops in my brain uh not scrappy uh shaggy from scooby-doo yeah uh, i much. used to look kind of kind of like that less pot though oh way less pot i didn't try <laughs> pot until oh shit i don't know two or three years after high school yeah way, yeah. way less pot then but I yeah. remember that was the apartment that you drew the uh, symbol on the wall for um, Assassin's Creed. I'm you... so mad about that, too, because I never <laughs> finished it, and I never took any pictures of it. No, I, I recall, though, you got pretty far, too. I remember you got really, no. really far. It looked so fucking good. I mean, I thought about you're... doing something like that in, in my office, you know, but I just, I, I don't... I think you should. It doesn't have to be Assassin's Creed, but, like... I mean, I would definitely do something, do some art back there. It would really show off your. I do. I do sense. have white walls right now. It's it's probably like the best kind of canvas for me. Yes, and then you could paint it in. Well, I because the wall the wall I had was like that weird apartment wall where it's it's not like a flat drywall. It's all that weird yeah. bumpy crap. And I did art on that, and that killed a lot of my my writing utensils. I I recall you. Those are good times. Because that was like our epicenter of me and your video game time. Mm. Like That was when me and you played the most games together. We hung out mm. all the time. Like That was oh, the yeah. epicenter of... That's what built and forged this guaranteed lifelong relationship that we have together. So, Oh, yeah. I remember when time. you first moved to, to Reno. I, I don't think I've ever told you this, but like you, you had told uh, my girlfriend at the time uh, that you were my best friend. And I was like... Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know we were best friends. <laughs> <laughs> and then that was that's what that's that's how it started, and it's never stopped. Okay, rules for all extroverts: you call the introvert your best friend, and it happens. They don't know it yet, but they're your best friend. Yeah, <laughs> we don't see it coming. We kind of we kind of fight it a little, but we're so introverted, we just let it happen. Yeah, <laughs> they're like they're like. I mean. It's the first time I've been called a best friend, and all, but yeah, exactly. like, uh, I mean, sure, I guess, yeah, yeah, I guess this is my best friend. It's like the first time that somebody's like, "Oh, are you my girlfriend?" <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. I, I, I guess. <laughs> 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 but that's what made this really. I mean, we've known each other since high school, so it's it's been it's been a very long 
time that we've known each other. So yeah, yeah, many man. many years. It's what almost almost ten years. It's like nine right now. No, it's gotta be. It's over ten. It's gotta be over ten because I think I had to been like fifteen when we first met, hanging out with the the comedy group. I think is what we were. Oh man, started. it's been way longer. My math is bad too. Dang, yeah, I'm no, stupid. It, it's... Yeah, it's <laughs> proof that Willow may be more intelligent than his father, right here. I'm telling you, she's <laughs> she's a smart freaking dog. It's got to be like terror. twelve or thirteen years at this point. Yeah, I'll do the math later. Um, <laughs> I'll pull out the calculator that my teacher said that we wouldn't have, and then I will add and do all the subtractions and divisions and multiplications. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. No, but that apart that apartment. Um, I remember trying to fit this huge, disgusting, broken down leather couch that my mom didn't want anymore <laughs> through the damn halls. And then we had to get it into the apartment, and we would try and turn it around these small corridors, and we would scratch up all the walls. And once we got it into the apartment, we're like, well, fuck, now it's not coming out. Because the, the hallway that was in the apartment was the length of the couch, like the width. There was yeah. no, no way to get it around any corner at all. I remember That's when true. I sold it, we sold it to some other people in the complex, and we're like, if you want it, 50 bucks, it's yours, you got to get it out. So what they did is they, they opened the glass patio, and yeah. luckily I was on the bottom, the first floor, and uh, they just, like, four people lifted it up over my gate and then put it on the other side. I was like, cool, not my problem anymore. But, man, that thing was awful. It was so bad that I took one of the cushions – like one of the pillow cushions and stuffed it under the middle seat so it would just like lift up because there was no like support it was you hit the ground or you sit on this double cushion oh yeah i, re I remember i remember that thing yeah it was, i mean but this was like this is right after high school i mean we were pretty young so there was yeah. a lot of, how, a lot how, of many, that... how many months did i go in that apartment with no internet i don't know it was depressing. It was I know. Truly, I, I truly the worst. I had to grab my laptop, walk uh, two miles <laughs> downhill first off, which was easy. Bo both uh, ways. To, a, to a Starbucks, <laughs> um, and uh, just post on Facebook and be like, "Hey, uh, anybody want to hang out?" And if nobody answered, I would have to walk all the way back home uphill two miles. And uh, boy, howdy, that was that was fun. You also walked all the way to your work, which was like. What like two miles? To it was work. yeah. It was so that Starbucks was in the same uh, shopping, uh, district? shopping shopping district as my job. So yeah. luckily, like I would do that every day anyway. And uh, I had strong fucking legs back then. Uh, we do any kind of hike, me and my wife now, and I'm like, oh my god, oh this is a flashbacks to when I first moved to to, <laughs> to, the, to the city. Oh. <laughs> But not only that, you only had protein was peanut butter. So <laughs> I know, I, man, uh, I was I was not a smart child back then. Well, I don't think anybody was. But this, I think that we're hit in an hour here, so I think that's gonna be about the extent of the podcast today. Um, the so we as Shenanigans Gamers have. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. On Facebook and Instagram, it's just going to be at Shenanigamers. S-H-E-N-A-N-I-G-A-M-E-R-S. And then on Twitter, because we couldn't get our handle, sadly, yet, uh, it's going to be at S-H-E-N-4-N-I-G-A-M-E-R-S. So if you guys want to follow us on there, we're also going to be posting this on my channel, uh, Knighted Gamers, on YouTube. So... Uh, if you've seen it, you've probably seen it there. So, um, this is Oni Ninja. I'm Nighted Gamers. You got any last words for him? You know, just have a good day. Don't let this this whole situation bring you down. Live your life. Be happy. It's it, it's gonna pass. Yep. And always remember, video games are friends. Not yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Bye, guys. I'll, we will talk to you later. You have a great day. You too.